What's wrong? Weren't you going to stand firm? Look at you. You're pathetic. You think you can save Xi'an? Stop it. Xi'an? Just leave him alone. Please, he can't even stand up on his own. He can't do anything else now. You really are pathetic, Alan. How does it feel to be pitied by the one you love? Do you really want Xi'an's sympathy that much? Sympathy? You don't understand Chief's suffering like I do. I understand her feelings. Her pain and her sadness. And despite that, she struggled alone to do everything that she possibly could. You don't have any idea how much she's been hurt. Or how she's suffered. How could anyone like you understand? You have no idea how much she's cried! Ellen, please, that's enough! It's alright. You've done enough. Why do you have to suffer like that? You see, I wanted to cry in her place. And I wanted to be the one to feel her pain. Because I wanted to spend my life together with her. I know that I may not be able to do much in this world. But I would do absolutely anything for her. So then do you think you can take her away from me? Xion may find your feelings to be too much of a burden for her. Even if that was the case, the feelings I have won't ever change for her. Like you said, I'm a pathetic man. All I could ever do was watch her from afar. But there's no way I would ever abandon her. I won't lose to someone like you, who has only run away! I'm taking Xi'an back, no matter what happens! All right then. I shall grant your wish. Mary. You're almost there, Alan. Cosmos. It's all right, Alan. I too understand your feelings. I can feel your pain. And I can also feel Xi'an's pain. Cosmos. But I... Let's go now, Alan. Let's go to Xi'an. Stop! Why are you doing something like this too? What are you doing, Mary? Is this your will? You know that will be defying Wilhelm. I must protect Xi'an. No matter what. His will is irrelevant to me. I see. Then you truly are a failure. Mary's consciousness changed inside you and awoke as something different. You're not the will of Mary as it should be. Xi'an, please tell me. Is this what you really want? Do you really want to betray everyone? Doesn't this make you sad? Back, 
Kevin. All I ever wanted was to be with you, even if that meant that I was being used, even if I was being deceived. As long as I could be by your side, I thought it didn't matter. But now I know that's not true. It's wrong for me to sacrifice others for it. If I do that, if I run away into the past, all I'm doing is repeating the misery inside me. Uh, what, Xion? What are you saying? I do love you, dearly. I'm sure we would be happy together. There's nothing that I would want more. But I can't stand the idea of being the only one who finds happiness. If I can't share it with everyone, then there's no meaning to happiness. And I don't want to be alone anymore. Xion, no. Are you... Are you leaving me? If you force me to choose, I won't hesitate. Stand with them to save this universe. Xi'an, listen to me. Accept my words, Xi'an. If you reject me, you will die. Kevin, listen to me. I cannot be with you. I am no longer your tool to play with. I see. But I will not hand you over voluntarily. Instead, I will eliminate those who confuse you!